Hi everybody, this is the lesson or the video for lesson 3.1 of magnetic fields. So today we're going to be trying to figure out, um, this is our investigation question, what affects the amount of potential energy stored in the magnetic field when a magnet is moved against a magnetic force? So this is just a visual of what we're trying to figure out today. We have two claims, claim A and claim B. Um, claim A says more potential energy can be stored by moving against the magnetic force of a stronger magnet. So you can see here we have same distance apart. We have weak versus strong. And then we have claim B, more potential energy can be stored by moving against the magnetic force closer to the magnet. And you can see here we have the same strength magnets, but at different distances apart. We're going to be investigating these today. Um, again, this is a hands-on lesson, so I'll just be showing you a video of what you would be doing if you were in class. Something to keep in mind is that evidence is stronger when the variable being tested is isolated, meaning it's by itself, or when only one variable is changed at a time. So you can follow along with me um, on the worksheet. And I will be showing you the video for claim A. And this is about the magnetic force of a stronger magnet. As the video plays, I want you to try to figure out what variable is being tested and what is being kept the same. So things being kept the same, try to think you can see here we have the same starting point and we have the same magnet being launched. We have strong magnets being launched coming from the same starting point. We'll watch that again. So this is strong to strong and this is weak magnet being the launcher and a strong magnet being launched. So now you can see here um, this guy who ran the video for us, you can see the strong magnet had a distance of 12.3 centimeters and a weak magnet had 5.4. So when you create your data table, it should look something like this. So you can pause the video to copy down the data table right here. And then once you're done copying that, you're going to complete the sentence. More potential energy is stored in a system when blank and my evidence is blank. And I'll go back here and you can pause the video now so you can write this down. Okay, and we'll move along to claim B. More potential energy can be stored by moving against the magnetic force closer to a magnet. So we're going to watch that video now. So we have different um, lengths of how far apart our magnets are. Again, try to keep in mind what's being kept the same and what is changing per each test. Okay, so you can rewind the video to watch it again and I'll bring up the data points now. So this is what, um, our data is so this if you remember this is how far apart each magnet started and then this the second um let me show you the second one here that circled in yellow is how far it went so i'll show you what the data table will look like for that and you can pause the video and write this down this is when the magnets were two centimeters apart 1.5 and one centimeter apart, and this is how far they went each time. So you can write that right here. Again, try to, which variable was tested there and then which variables were kept the same. Complete the sentence here, just like claim A. And then you have one question to do here um, to complete the lesson for today. And that's it.